Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's staying warm today. Um, I know we, our friends in Texas, that's where our corporate office is. They're having a tough time right now with power and water. And, uh, you know, just thank you for your patience, everybody. Uh, we're trying to get packages out as quickly as possible. It's getting quicker uh, right now. But, you know, basically our closer, you know, Brenda pretty much was up around 5.30 this morning getting packages out because, because that's when the power turned back on. And then all of a sudden the power turned back off uh, and so forth. So, so they're trying to work through this. It's, it's starting to get you know, quicker now and, and so forth. So thanks everybody for patience. Keep, keep Texas in your thoughts right now. Uh, very, very tough situation. Um, you know, power, water, everything else. It's, it's just, you know, it, it's, it's a free thing and they're just not used to it uh, and, and so forth. So uh, please keep them in your prayers, everybody in Texas and, and so forth. So a uh, real quick note here on top of everything else, um, it was real crazy yesterday because, you know, trying to get everybody locked in and, and, and so forth. And thank goodness we locked pretty much everybody in on Friday because we saw this coming. Um, Basically, is the bond market took a huge, huge hit, and it's looking to be about five basis points down already today. And yesterday, I think it finished about seventy basis points down. So it, it bumped up the rates a little bit. But let me put things in perspective, okay? First and foremost, okay, I've been doing this about eighteen years, but I've seen rates when I first got into the industry. Rates were around seven, uh, you know, seven to seven point five. I got into it. The uh, rates dropped down to six and an eighth. People refied like crazy, went crazy. So it's all a matter of perspective. Let's go back 12 months ago, okay, when rates dropped down to the low threes. Everybody went crazy, okay? Then it dropped down to the twos. Everybody went crazy. So even though it bumped up a little bit, and before I go any further, there's usually 26 factors that factor into interest rates, okay? 26 factors. So when somebody calls in about an interest rate, uh, that's a convoluted question. It's very hard to say, well, it's this or this and this until we have information. It's not like a car loan where you're doing a special at the credit union saying, okay, for the next 30 days, our interest rate is 2.25 or something like that. So uh, just just please understand, on the secondary market dealing with Fannie and Freddie, there's 26 factors that actually factor into, into the interest rate, okay? Um, so that's the first thing. But put things in perspective. Rates are incredibly low, okay? Um, it's still a great time to buy, even though it's very tough to buy something right now because of inventory, but hopefully our government, instead of giving a $15,000 tax credit uh, to first-time homebuyers, which is going to throw steroids gasoline onto the fire that's already there right now because there's just not enough homes, okay? The problem is, is not the, uh, you know, first-time homebuyers trying to buy a home. There's just not enough homes out there. So give the incentives to the builders because, you know, there's material costs that have tripled, literally tripled. Okay, so I'm getting off on a tangent here. Let's go back to the um, uh, interest rates. They're still low. So if you're thinking about refinancing, it's not always about the interest rate. It's not about, well, I'm, I've got this and I'm trying to get this. It's about debt consolidation a lot of times. It's about increasing your cash flow. You know, I've, I spoke about this many, many times before, but it's very important, especially with the day that we had yesterday. It's about increasing cash flow. It's about setting yourself up for the next four, five, seven, ten 10 years. It's about increasing cash flow to put into your retirement. It's about increasing cash flow to uh, pay off debt. Um, you know, it, it's, it's basically, or, or to put money aside for, for college down the line for your kids. This is the time to do it because everybody has equity in their houses right now. You know, I say everybody, but it, it's, it's, you know, sometimes like it's not enough equity up to 80% to try to do cash out. But there's a lot of people in this country who have a lot of equity inside their property. So now's the time to look into it do it smartly. Try to you know trim down the term, uh, pay off some debt, increase your cash flow. You know, totally depends on you know totally depends on your circumstance. But don't get freaked out when rates start ticking up because you got to put your perspective hat on. Going back 12 months ago, going back 24 months ago, and really think about it. And you know, a lot of times, sometimes just lowering the interest rate just a little bit, but consolidating debt does so much better than dropping your rate, say like just two points or, or point and a half sometimes, and just doing that. Um, let's look at combining some stuff, do it the right way. When I say combine, you know, to try to combine this stuff, I don't mean combine it, then all of a sudden start jacking up your debt and, and so forth. That's gonna eat away at your wealth impact. But let's look at consolidating some stuff, uh, shorten the term, if that makes sense. Increasing your cash flow is the king, uh, but basically from that point, applying that cash flow to something else, whether it's paying off more debt, 
whether it's putting you know six months reserves in the bank, whether it's putting towards your uh, IRA, whether it's putting towards college, whether it's just putting it in a bank, okay? Uh, you know, even if the rates tick up a little bit, it's still a fantastic time to, to do something, whether it's refinance or purchase. Uh, and, you know, I'll watch it today too. I mean, right now, like I said, we're down about five before it opens. So, um, you know, it's, you know, hopefully it stabilizes a little bit right now, but the bond market, I mean, literally looked like it fell off a cliff, uh, just, just drove off a cliff and basically, uh, you know, really was a crazy day yesterday. Um, so Anyway, everybody hang in there, stay warm, pray for Texas, think about them, any, any way, you, you know, anything that we could do to help, um, you know, just they're, they're really going through a tough time. So have a great day, and uh, if you got any questions, just like all the time, comment down below, shoot me a private message, or shoot me a text at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.